SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week five in the NFL, and right now we are talking, as always, with Joe Duffy on a Monday afternoon, taking a look ahead to the Thursday night game. Uh, this week it's going to be a Buffalo at Cleveland, and Joe Duffy coming off. Did it again, 1-1 one one NFL, 2-0 and in college football with us, 3-1 and one weeks, and now he's 10-4 and four against the spread overall in the NFL. Keeps rolling every week. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. We've had a great week in college football with premium plays, and yet again, we're still ahead for the year in the NFL and college and, of course, combined. All right, well, Joe, you are having a, a great year with us in our videos as well. Give a quick plug for uh, OffshoreInsiders.com before we get into the Thursday night game. Been in the business as long as anyone. My picks have been public since 1988 on the score phones. Still among the lowest price because we want to appeal to the smaller player and the big player alike at OffshoreInsiders.com. And Joe Duffy's picks the anchor of OffshoreInsiders.com. All right. Sounds great. And, yeah, one of the great things about you is that uh, you handicap any game, every game I ask you to take. And one of the games that I've asked you to take this whole season is each Thursday night game. This, this Thursday, it's Buffalo at Cleveland, and uh, Buffalo was uh, one of your winners last week. Great, great call on them as a home dog um, against uh, the Ravens. Now, though, Cleveland, of course, Cleveland's rolling, right? Uh, Brian Hoyer is looking like uh, the answer, at least for now, at quarterback. It's not a huge surprise to me that they get a boost as soon as they make this switch, exactly yeah. when people were thought that they were going to, you know, throw, that they were throwing it in, throwing in the towel on the season. Now, though, they're a four-and-a-half-point home favorite, uh, you know, Buffalo, C.J. Spiller is is banged up. He's hoping to be 80 or 85 percent for this game. We talked last week about how banged up Buffalo is in general. Uh, you said, though, that that didn't matter, and that turned out to be correct. Here, though, I'm just thinking, you know, Cleveland, obviously, they're a quality team. They have a good defense, but, you know, this line's getting up there, minus four and a half. I'm starting to think maybe Buffalo's a side here. What do you think? No, you are definitely correct, and in fact, unfortunately, this is where one of our top theories cancels each other mm -hmm. out, and I guess one of our newer theories that has been profitable more so in recent years. It's really evolved over the past couple of years where we like those first year starting quarterbacks, young quarterbacks who are taking over for bad teams. Buffalo is three and one against the spread this year, but the only time they lost was against the Jets and other first year quarterbacks. So as far as when it didn't cancel out, they're actually three and oh. And of course, Cleveland, they're both two and oh straight up and against the spread with their new quarterback Hoyer. What, what really uh, Cleveland has to be careful about is making the same mistake that Baltimore made last week against Buffalo, where John Wooden, who is one of the for those young people watching, you might say, who's John Wooden? <laughs> he is the legendary former coach at UCLA, widely considered to be the greatest, most successful coach in American sports history. And one of his great theories was he always worries more about playing to his own team's strengths than another team's weakness. Mm -hmm. And that was a mistake that Baltimore made last week was they saw all those injuries in the Buffalo secondary, they forgot their running game, and they wound up outsmarting themselves. I think if anything, the smart play here is the under. Cleveland has tremendous defensive numbers where they're holding uh, teams to almost a yard below their normal average. But offensively, so-so. Two young quarterbacks... I don't think that Cleveland's going to make that same mistake that was made last week, even if, uh, even if uh, Buffalo still has those injuries in the secondary. I don't think they're going to get off of their game plan. I think both teams will have uh, conservative game plans, both teams with pretty solid defenses, especially if Buffalo gets their players back in the secondary. So I'm saying the best play here is the under. Yeah, you know, I was looking at this. I was like, man, Buffalo on a short mm -hmm. week on the road with all those injuries. Cleveland looking good. I was leaning towards, you know, betting Cleveland, but then the line starts creeping up, creeping yeah. up. Suddenly I don't feel good about it anymore. I'm completely now sold on your side. The best way, ignore the side and uh, take the under, which is 41 right now. Is that your official play, Joe Duffy? It, it is the official play. And yet again, great minds think alike. I was worried about the line movement. I do think that because Cleveland has won two straight all of a sudden, you know, the dog pound there, which has been known as one of the strongest home field advantages, finally they're going to get that home field advantage back. So the sharp money did make a good move in betting on Cleveland. But now that it's off of the key number and up to about four and a half, you're right. It does make me nervous. The opening line, Cleveland would have been a great play. All right. Sounds great. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks so much.